Okay, first day back on my feet after surgery. Thanks for your patience, people. I've actually decided to use my bobcat today because I still can't do too much real heavy lifting. But this does heavy lifting. So I'm tearing out the old dog kennels at the moment. The new ones are over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we'll get a look at those, I'm sure. But um, this is the old section. And as you can see, I've already taken out a whole section over here. And by the time we finish bobcatting through here, we'll have one nice flat level, even a towel that um, might sort of not have stuff growing around it. Got to take out a fair bit of old concrete through here. Um, either that will join into it. Um, if we can use it, we'll use it. But I uh, don't know. We'll see. See what a three ton of bobcat does to it uh, you know, after going over it a hundred times. We're literally pulling out these posts, dragging them back over the other side of uh, right over. Oh, you probably can't see, but there's a big heap of steel. We're, and, and rubbish we're getting rid of and uh, pretty much today the job is to get all this out the way everything that's here um, pretty much right through to this new footing that we've just put in this is the new um, sprout wool greenhouse that's going up in here so um, uh, that'll be uh, kind of neat um, put the footing down the other day so just letting that cure for a while um, we've still got to pull out all this fencing all through here but as you can imagine, uh, I don't know if we'll keep some of these trees. We're just going to have a look at, you know, just... Well, that one's not too bad, but the one next to it's really not looking so good. So we'll have a look at what the space, you know, is like as far as being used. But have a look at this. It's, it's yeah, she's not looking great. Um, I wouldn't say it was a feature tree. Anyway, um, I'm moving slowly. And yes, you're right, I shouldn't be doing this just yet, but... I kind of got a bit bored and thought, no, I've just got to do something. Um, I did a little bit yesterday, actually, cleaning out a garage with Sam, and I said, do I just need to get out of bed a bit more um, and uh, move around a bit? That's not too bad in the Bobcat, because you're kind of, you know, <laughs> dragging things and pushing around. Although, then I've got to get out and move all the little things like this rubbish here. This area, we've on purpose left it as rubbish for so long, it's not funny, um, because we've just known that we have to come through, re-level it with the Bobcat, clear it all out and then do some verandas and new buildings on the other side here so there's a bit of work going on after this all finishes um, the dog kennels over here are looking great very quick look um, i know my mate david back in adelaide um, <laughs> he said to me where's the uh, doggy hilton um, update <laughs> anyway so we've done a path that goes all the way up here to the um the gymnasium uh the salon and also uh, sam's other craft room uh, which is, is nice now because it just means that um, people coming in from that direction are, are not getting on dirt. Uh, we'll probably restone all this for now. Um, what we do long term will be interesting, uh, but um, you know, stone has been a, a reasonably good sort of way to go with it. Now we've got a few dogs in at the moment, so you're probably going to get some barking. But um, we'll say hello to a few dogs. Hey guys, hello. Hey puppy dog. Well, so far there's no massive barkings. Oh, here we go, the yappy one. <laughs> Hang on. Just let me lock that gate, and once again, all the gates get locked as we go through. And this is where we're up to. We're about to start. Oi, oi, buddy, what you doing? Uh, we're about to go putting in um, all the kitchen bits and pieces, and <clears throat> we've got water going in, power going in. Uh, we've got to line a lot of this out just yet, but um, this is just an intermediate office that we've got going together. There's a nice big sliding door going in the front there. And uh, so let's have a look. Who we got? Hello, buddy. How you going? Are you having a good time here? Hello? 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 <laughs> good on you, mate. Good boy. It's got water. you got bed. Good. That's excellent. What are you doing, mate? Hello? Now, as you can see, all these guys get to share, because there's not many dogs in the moment, they all get to share two kennel areas. So our fella here can now come next to me and say hello again. G'day, mate. How you going, buddy? Hello. Hello. You good boy. I always get the boy and girl thing wrong. What you doing? Hello, let's go see this one. You're just going to complain otherwise. You're a little cutie, aren't you? Yapper. <laughs> yeah, mate. Hello. 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 So this is what we do here. <laughs> this is the bit of fun that... Um... Now, for some reason, we haven't given the door here. We haven't left that open. So little fella's only getting one. And there's no reason for that. Well, there is. Um, there are... Sometimes you've got to think of the clean-up too um, with, with dogs. Uh, so maybe that's what Sam's doing. Hello, mate. Hello. Go, okay, buddy. How you going? Hello. All right. Okay. I think that's it for now. It's all right, mate. Okay. Just having a look at what. Uh, but as you can see, this is all working re reasonably well. Um, 
Hey guys, get on mate. Come on mate, good boy. Hey buddy, come on. What you doing, what you doing, what you doing? All right, so what we've got basically is um, dogs in kennels, which is good. Um, these are all the uh, kennels that we're just getting together now. Um, we've still got some painting to do on the internals, as you can see, and um, but that'll that'll get there. Um, and as you can see, we've got a bit of clean up to do along here as well. Uh, we've, we've just got to finish leveling off this area here so that we don't get um, uh, too many problems with with water coming in. Oh, these are some. Oh, and as you can see, oh, here's all our power wiring coming through that Riley's just run for me. So we've got to get that all back into the office area and uh, get that through. So. That's pretty much where we're heading. Sam's just saying hello to some of the dogs here. Uh, we've got the heated kennels up the top there. We're still just working on that area up there. Once again, we've gone concrete uh, pathways all the way through. <laughs> Sam's now. And that's the good thing about being able to take a dog out. You can, you know that they're locked in. Although right now we've got to get the concrete down on the bottom, so maybe not such a good idea. Um, up the top here, we've done areas for... Um, all our bins and bits of waste disposal. Um, basically, if you needed to get to a kennel, we've wanted to have concrete pathways to everything. Uh, we've run power through over here for our heated kennels. We'll have to do a little subboard in here for that. But um, this is all a bit of a mess at the moment. This is the old area. This is what we were stuck with before. And we're going with um, a very different sort of insulation. We're going with air cell, much, much more efficient. And no rats are getting into it like this happened in this here. And this is awful in here. So pretty much what we'll do here is we'll pop the roof off, um, uh, take all this rubbish off, air sell it, and then just um, paint the sheets uh, the right colour for the roof. We've kept all the roof um, in one colour for all the property uh, buildings here. So uh, we're trying to keep that going as a flavour. All right, I'm going to get out of here because um, the dogs are a little bit um, excited. And um, once again, you know, they've got the two doorways that you get in and out of because of the uh, fact that we've got hello Sam um, because we've got clients in at the moment now Sam's following me so I won't um, shut this one but that's it sort of that's sort of giving me a bit of a break too from um, I just need a bit of a rest I'll go continue to uh, decide what trees stay what well none of the posts are staying out over here but we'll get um, we'll get this all out but as you can see this area once it's all cleared out imagine that all gone and then there's a beautiful uh, sprout wool shade house there that's five by six meters um, and it's um, it's it's like a it's like building a garage to be honest you've got to do the uh, quite a footing for it as you can see and then we go to all the stuff from China I'm sure <laughs> I have a feeling it's all come from China but um, but anyway all <laughs> certainly doesn't say made in Australia but this is the grain series sprout wool that's all here and all this Meccano set We've got to put together so uh, that will be a bit of fun but i think everything's arrived now so we might be able to sort of get started and once again this whole area here all will be cleared out it's we're getting close to just getting everything out all this rubbish here gone all this up here gone so it's gonna present a um probably a much bearer finish but you wait to see what we're going to put up it gets better it will get very nice by the time we're finished and uh Oh, it's just a matter of whether or not I can put up with all this um, all this work. We'll see. See how my health goes. All right, guys. All the best. Just a um, bit of a doggy update. Um, it's David over in Adelaide. This should at least keep you happy. <laughs> and um, please don't mind all the mess here. All this here is just we've just got to move stuff around at the moment. Um, the other thing that starts um, in the next couple of weeks, that um, we've got a huge stack of work going on. Let's just go down and show you. There's... Um, see how this building here continues on and then uh, so you've got my music room there there's my ex uh, extension to the radio shack there well here we go two more rooms um, Sam's scrapbooking room uh, which actually I even wrote it on the sheets there Sam's scrapbooking room <laughs> um, so all this stuff comes out a lot of the stuff here the um, window frames and bits we'll, we'll use in uh, different parts of this extension and um, this is actually going to be what we call a slightly recessed extension. Sam wants some steps on the front here uh, to actually be able to get in from this side as well. So a little bit different design. Uh, but our ensuite and bathroom uh, for what is our master bedroom over there. And that master bedroom is about um, uh, 
geez, nine metres by probably seven and a half metres. So that's a pretty big um, master bedroom in there. But um, it does have a really, included in that's a nice size walk-in robe. But um, we're going to do another walk-in robe in this area here. And uh, uh, save me having to walk 26 metres back and forth every time. It's 26 one way, 26 the other to, um, to get to uh, the toilet. I'm going to build a toilet and ensuite and spa and everything on the corner here. We'll demolish everything out here. So windows will actually look out to a view of this. And that's the idea, get all this junk out. And then your windows, all they're gonna see is just that sort of beauty over there. And um, that's the plan. Uh, it's taken us a long time to get to this point, I can tell you. Um, and knocking down stuff takes courage, I can tell you, because you've got to build something there. Anyway, it'll get there. Well, there's the other tower base, still haven't got that one in yet, but uh, <laughs> we'll get there. All right, well, that's a bit of a heads up on where we're at. I'm going to try and do another sort of couple of hours and I reckon that'll be it for me. Uh, unfortunately, um, I'm just moving a bit slower, but we'll get there. All right, all the best. Thanks for having a look at our little doggy update and uh, hopefully uh, I can get a few more. I'm not so much uh, upgrades to the house videos. I want to get back to trying to get a few radio videos done. Um, be prepared. We've got a massive clean out coming up, massive. Um, few decisions when you stay in bed for two weeks while you're repairing from um, uh, from surgery sometimes you have a bit of an epiphany well my epiphany has been had so get ready it's coming all right all the best cheers guys